today I want to talk about my experiences in Korea as a black woman, the good, the bad. And the, oh hell no. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna start listing off the stuff that, you know, happens to me as a black woman. Probably because I am a black woman or a foreigner. They touch your hair. And I heard about them touching your hair, but I didn't think they actually touched your hair. I remember when I, it was back when I first got here. This is just one example. I was, I was in this restaurant. I was ordering some gimbap. I love some gimbap, you know? I was ordering some gimbap and it was a smaller restaurant. And all of a sudden, the lady, you know, the lady is real nice. The lady who's serving me the gimbap real nice. She asked me all these questions. Then, while I'm going to eat, she stands behind me. And she starts touching my weave. And it wasn't even just a weave, it was a wig. So I'm like, do you want this wig to fall out on the floor? Somebody behind me, they just start touching my hair and stuff. I may just be like, pow, you know, and not even think about it. Whoa, caught that reflex. Mm -mm, don't do it. Don't stand behind me, cause you might, uh, you might catch that reflex. Okay, one more time. Uh, catch that reflex. <laughs> For real though. One time I was on the plane with my friends and she had cornrows. She had a, got her cornrows done. They look real good by the way. She got her cornrows done and then we're about to get off the plane and we're standing up trying to get off the plane and the Korean lady just, I, all I saw was a hand from behind. Just, just a hand, just like this. Bow! And just touched her hair. I was like, bow! And I was like, Woo! I'm from Baltimore, so somebody come up behind me. My first reaction is to pop. Just don't pull on my wig, okay? Unless she wants to buy me a new one. If that's the case, um, I'm going to take some 24-inch Indian Remy. Instant celebrity status. It sounds weird, but the stuff that makes you popular with Korean people here doesn't work back home. I can walk into a club no lie, walk into a club and everybody, like all the Koreans will just stop and just be like, dance. Every time me and my friends walk into a club, they want to see us dance. Like they literally stop what they're doing. They have this idea in their head that all black people can dance. And I talked to other Korean people and I asked them this and they're like, yeah, black people can dance. They got the swag, they got swag. Especially if you walk into a hip hop club, there's been so many times in Korea where I walked into a club and they playing, I'm in love with the coke coke. And all the Korean people turn around, they looking at me because I'm the only black person in like a 50 mile radius and shit. Me and my friends, we be dancing, we be getting in and stuff. And you will look around and it'll be like the whole area, just Korean people just like, just so amused. They don't really, dance in the club like we do back home in usa or wherever you from basically they just have this one dance that they do oh child i'm out of breath i remember when i first when i very first got to korea it was like the second time i've ever been to a club i went to the bathroom for a second you know i just wanted to like chill out for a minute do my lipstick and all that and I'm looking in the mirror and this Korean guy is just like, he's looking at me. I'm just like, hi. And he goes, you are so beautiful. Please come to my VIP section with me. And I was like, hmm, cute guy, free alcohol. It was champagne. I get to the VIP and they all want to take pictures with me and stuff. That happens to me a lot. I get compliments from strangers. Most of the times, I'm happy with it. Sometimes, it's a little bit weird. I just remember one time I was walking up the metro stairs. I was trying to like exit the metro and there was this older Korean guy and he just would not stop looking at me and you know you get used to stares as a black person here or a person of color a person who's just not korean you will get a lot of stares but he was staring so hard and i was sitting here like yo what is he looking at so i get to the top of the stairs there's an ajama at the top of the stairs she's working this like street food stand and he starts talking to her in korean and it's obvious that they're talking about me i was just like 
안녕하세요. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. And then they kept going, nice shape, nice shape. Body number one. <laughs> Yo, this is a thing Koreans love saying number one. Everything is number one. I've gotten style number one, skin number one, body number one, dance number one. The old lady, she's like, body number one. And then I did have a donk though, I'm not gonna lie. Another thing that happens to me is a black woman here, but it happens to almost all foreign women here, getting hit on by taxi drivers. I remember it was, it was New Year's Eve. The minute I stepped foot into the taxi, he was just going on and on about, oh, so pretty. Yeah, boy, yo, yeah, boy, yo, blah, blah, blah. Just yeah, boy, yo, yeah, boy, yo, over and over again. And then he kept talking to me the whole time. And he was asking me, so do you have boyfriend? My age, he asked me how old I am. And then finally, when he was dropping me off, he asked for my damn phone number. I'm like, uh, what? If you want to contact me, you better send me a smoke signal or something because you ain't getting these numbers. This one, I've said in a previous video, five things I love and hate about Korea. As a black woman, you're not going to find makeup and you're not going to find clothes. People ask me this in the comments so many times. How do you find makeup? I can't. Okay, I can't. I wish I had the answers for you ladies, but I just can't. There is no black makeup in Korea, period, point blank. Just, I stopped looking a long time ago. It just is not a thing, okay? I'm gonna talk about the Korean girls. Now, I don't mean to generalize a group of people because I don't want everyone coming after me like, Lala, what are you doing? Stop generalizing, oh my God. Korea is a very couple-oriented culture. Now, if you go outside of your home, you will see couples all day, every day, everywhere, wherever you go, couples in the streets, couples holding hands, couples taking selfies, couples using selfie sticks. You name it! Like, this is so couple-oriented and it just, at, at some point, it does become overwhelming. There are times when you'll walk into a bar or you'll be walking down the street and, you know, the girl's going to be with her man and she's going to be looking at you like this. You know what I'm saying? And she's thinking that you want her man because, you know, if you, you know, you fine. That's just it. Some of these girls' men are going to look at you. Catch a little attitude, no problem. Imagine that you're at a Toyota dealership full of all Toyotas, and then there's one Lexus right in the middle of it. Of course you're gonna look at the Lexus. That's a little rude. Hey girl, I don't buy much of man. I'm gonna come at you like a wild spider monkey, and you're not gonna like it. And yes, I said spider monkey. Ah, my kids like to touch me a lot. They always like reach their little hands out and just like doing like this because they're so curious about my skin, you know, because they're probably like, how can she be so dark? How can she be so dark? Kids freak out about me in Busan. Like, I'll be doing some regular, regular ass shit and the kids will watch me and just start freaking out. I was in Daiso. I was walking around and all of a sudden there's this small little boy and he sees me and he starts screaming and he goes, oh my, oh my. Oh my! Uh, I just want toilet paper. I just want toilet paper. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go to the other store. He's like screaming and he brings his mom over to me and I'm just like, X, <laughs> X, don't want, don't want, I don't want this, I, I, I don't want this. That's my comprehensive list of crazy and wild things that happened to me in Korea as a black woman or as a woman of color or as a woman who is simply not Korean. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, any topics you want me to cover, I am trying to as quickly as I can. If you have anything you want to say, if you want to say, Lala, I hate you. Lala, I love you. Lala, you're ugly. Whatever, just drop it below and I will answer you eventually. <laughs> All right, see you later. Bye.